brave men on the back of strong bulls. In the world of rodeo, cowboys and the Wild West continue to thrive in a spectacular way. And in the US federal state of Wyoming, this ultra-American tradition is held in high esteem. The area on the edge of the Absaroka Range is known as Buffalo Bill Land, due to the man who became immortalized as the most famous buffalo hunter of all time and a legendary personality of the Wild West. White settlers traveled to Wyoming at the end of the 19th century. Until then, the land had been mainly inhabited by various Indian tribes, such as the Arapaho, Lakota, and Cheyenne. The small town of Cody has 8,000 inhabitants, and not only has Buffalo Bill's family name, but was also founded by him in 1896 with the aid of numerous investors. The center of activity is Sheraton Avenue, Cody's main street. As founder of the town, William Frederick Cody is highly honored here as highlighted by an equestrian statue of this colorful character. In 1924, seven years after the death of Buffalo Bill, this statue on the periphery of the town was inaugurated with a grand ceremony. The Irma Hotel was founded during the lifetime of Buffalo Bill and dates back to 1902. Nostalgia is highly regarded in Cody. Whether huge historic rifles on the roofs of restaurants or various shop displays, here, the Wild West is still very much alive. Thanks to its large variety of shops, Cody has much to offer. The most demanding souvenir hunters will be well satisfied here. Wyoming continues the age-old traditions of cowboy attire and the wearing of guns as part of everyday life. Although quite small, Cody is well worth a visit. Around two kilometers from Cody is another attraction, Old Trail Town. Its 26 timber buildings and log cabins form a splendid and atmospheric museum. The Rivers Saloon, the oldest saloon in Wyoming, was originally located at Wood River, west of Mititsi. The old Trail Town Museum features various buildings that date back to frontier times. It was then that the border of North America's white settlements was known as frontier country. A small school is included in the exhibition that dates back to the end of the 19th century. Each building has its own individual history. Old photographs, tools and authentic furniture vividly demonstrate the daily life of bygone times. One of the most interesting buildings in Old Trail Town is Curley's Cabin. Curley was an Indian scout who served under General Custer. In contrast to his general, this Crow Indian managed to survive the Battle of the Little Bighorn. In addition to its fascinating buildings, the museum also features a fine collection of old covered wagons. Old Trail Town has kept up the spirit of the Wild West right up to the present day.
Wyoming not only contains historic sites, but also some wonderful scenery. Cody is an ideal starting point to various national parks. Yellowstone National Park is rightly called the Land of Geysers. Its huge water fountain, the Old Faithful, is world famous. No other landscape in the USA provides such a marvelous insight into the geological activity beneath the Earth's surface. However, the park's mud volcanoes and hot springs are not quite so impressive. But there's a good helping of drama offered by the lower and upper falls of Yellowstone River that plunge down thunderously into the depths below. The white center terraces at Mammoth Hot Springs originated from mineral deposits and are a further indication of the region's geothermal activities. The foundation of the USA's first national park in 1872 was an important initial step for nature conservation. Although Cody's main source of income is tourism due to Yellowstone Park, the Buffalo Bill Stampede Rodeo and the arena that was built especially for this event also helped the local economy. Excitement guaranteed. Each evening from the beginning of June until the end of August, Rodeo performances take place in Cody's Stampede Park. The spectacle always begins in the same way, with much patriotism and the stars and stripes. With great and all. Lord, we ask that you look upon our contestants and bless them, Lord. Open their Here, pride and culture reign supreme, along, of course, with the Rodeo. You look upon our fans and bless them. Send our prayers with them as they go about their travels or to their homes and know that. Oh, say can you see by the In the USA, the national anthem is played at the opening of each and every sporting event. And the Cody Night Rodeo is no exception. In the world capital of Rodeo, as the inhabitants of Cody call their town, this sport is extremely important. Unsurprisingly, the origin of Rodeo does not lie in the United States, but south, in Mexico. Chariada was to be seen in many Spanish colonies that also included the southwest of what is now the USA. For many years, this combination of bull riding, bullfights, and various other tests of courage have been included in numerous festivals. Today, rodeos are mainly held in the western part of the United States and are a popular and professionally marketed sport. development that without William Frederick Cody, the Wild West hero Buffalo Bill, could not have happened.
Despite the festive character of the American rodeos, the contest between man and beast is extremely dangerous and often leads to injury. Luckily, the rider recovers quickly from his ordeal, just as well as the show must go on. Today's rodeo contains a large variety of disciplines. Roping, catching an animal by lasso requires much skill. Oh, Doc got it, comes right off the top of the head, and we have to go down for the no time. I want everybody out there to help me out and say, oh. Man, the next performer shows how it's done. What? Calf roping is one of the oldest and most important rodeo disciplines. In the past, the winner was presented with a calf. But today, trophies and dollars are the prize. A number of judges are on hand to ensure that all the rules are strictly obeyed. The many official disciplines of rodeo were originally developed on the ranches that were to be found in the southwest of the USA. Watch it come around on the yellow horse. That was where the first contest took place. Once the catching of calves, cattle and horses by a lasso was part of the cowboy's everyday life. Classic discipline in rodeo contests is bronco riding. The semi-wild broncos are always a major challenge for the riders. In years gone by, it was mainly Mustangs that were used to entertain the crowds with their impressive power and energy. But what's so important in bronc riding, guys, is trying to get what we call the bronc brain measurement right. Thank you. The spectacle of seeing riders thrown off their mounts, often quite a distance, is one of the most exciting sights in Rodeo. A spectacle indeed. How about the bronc we call Roscoe? All right, welcome. The wild and excited animal is caught and the show can go on again. This rider appears to be exceptional or perhaps his horse is not quite so strong. However, he manages to keep the angry bronco under control. The father of all Rodeo performers was Buffalo Bill, who was also latterly known as an author of Penny Dreadfuls or Cheap Novels. Ned Buntline heard of the then bedraggled scout and buffalo hunter and in him saw the potential for a great story. William Frederick Cody had also been a rider of the legendary Pony Express and a soldier in the American Civil War. Cody was given his name of Buffalo Bill at the time when he supplied the workers of the Kansas Pacific Railroad with buffalo meat. In 1868, he won a buffalo shooting contest with great acclaim. Today, rodeos are not the sole domain of grown men. Youngsters of both sexes also compete. However, like the adults, the youngsters also have to suffer endless dismounts. Fortunately, most don't end in injury.
Rodeos are festivals enjoyed by each member of the family. And what could be more exciting for the mini cowboys than performing in front of a live audience? This young rider looks very self-assured. The onlookers are enthusiastic, but there's no time for celebrating as the next contest is about to start. Buffalo Bill worked as an army scout until 1872, a time when much of the USA was still unexplored. As a writer, Cody was made famous by Ned Buntlines. Although in Buntlines' dime novels, the life of Buffalo Bill was over-glorified and exaggerated, readers kept coming back for more. The success gave Buntline the idea to write a play about the life of Buffalo Bill, with Cody as the leading man. At first he hesitated, but when the Buffalo Hunter agreed to take part in the play, they performed it in the east of the United States. Featuring his adventures in the Wild West, the play became a blockbuster and Buffalo Bill soon grew accustomed to his new lifestyle. However, shortly afterwards, cooperation with the eccentric Buntline came to an end. After the climax of their success in 1873, they parted company. Aware of his growing popularity, Buffalo Bill decided to travel to Europe. Cody's Stampede Park is gradually filling up and the next thrilling contest is about to start. Race through a course flanked with empty barrels is one of the most recent disciplines of rodeo and also requires much skill. The skill of the rider and the agility of the horse are paramount. The participants of the barrel race are mainly women. This is the only official rodeo discipline for women in the USA. Its origin is not really known. It most likely stemmed from female ranchers who wanted to show their skills during their leisure time. Riders must race through a narrow triangular course without knocking over the barrels. It's quite a challenge that stretches the rider to the limit. Fortunately, this time, it's a safe landing. Such a discipline for women was unthinkable in pioneering days. Then the rodeo was strictly for men. The highlight of Cody's rodeo night is bull riding, a test of courage for the very brave. It can lead to severe injury and even death. Almost every professional bull rider has suffered from broken bones at some time or another. Oh dear, one of the performers does indeed appear to have been injured and is being carried out of the arena on a stretcher.
And now the next contestant. He must remain on the bull for at least eight seconds. As well as certain riders, also a number of particularly powerful bulls have become famous during their career, such as Bodacious the Bull, who was known far and wide. Bull riding features all the important virtues of a real cowboy. Courage, strength, resilience and skill. Last but not least, Buffalo Bill was responsible for this idealized and romantic picture of the cowboy and the Wild West that still captures the imagination today. It's the job of the Rodeo Clowns to protect the unseated riders from the raging bulls. This is also highly dangerous. The era of traveling showmen and vaudeville had already begun when Cody founded his Buffalo Bill Wild West show in 1883. In his show, he united elements of the circus with vaudeville. The show soon brought him even more success than his theatrical performances. The main theme of the various acts always featured the drama of the Wild West. A number of other famous personalities were also featured alongside Buffalo Bill, such as the legendary Indian chief of the Lakota, Sitting Bull. Particularly popular were the colorful performances of stagecoach holdups and savage attacks by native Indians. The great entertainment value of Buffalo Bill's Wild West show not only fascinated people of the USA, in 1887 he brought his show to Europe. On the occasion of the 50th Jubilee of Queen Victoria, he visited London. Two years later, this was followed by a tour to various other European cities. So America's Wild West was experienced far from the shores of the USA. At the turn of the century, Buffalo Bill was the most famous entertainer in the world. And in 1890, even had an audience with the Pope. Despite their success, today's rodeos cannot be compared with the former Wild West shows staged by Buffalo Bill. I want everybody out there to help me out soon. Go right out there. At the Zenith, his shows featured around 1,200 performers who brought alive the spirit of the Wild West in various acts of skill and daredeviltry. Today's rodeo keeps up the old traditions of the USA's pioneering times in spectacular fashion and entertains onlookers with the thrill of various events and the atmosphere of times long gone. The legendary Wild West, the rodeos of Cody, Buffalo Bill's hometown, now spotlight an historic past and an always thrilling present.